extend a very warm welcome to our MEP for Health um, and particularly um, councillors here, but I think really importantly to all of the George Hospital staff. I think this is a day where we um, really just taking an opportunity to recognise and thank all of the tremendous work that the hospital staff have been doing over the past five months. Um, we've, we, we've been through a really busy time in the past past month. Uh, I think we were we were slightly behind the Cape Town Metro in terms of the pandemic hitting us here. But as a regional hospital, our main role has been from a critical care and ICU and high care functions. So, so a hospital that normally has six ICU beds, we created an extra 18 ICU beds dedicated to COVID while we kept our six normal ICU beds going. And today, because of the pressures, we're just going to be opening up another seven high care beds. And these are treat, to treat patients from all over the garden route in central Karoo. I think to achieve this, um, with the staff that we've got, has been absolutely tremendous. I mean, I think every day I go home feeling proud and it's it's about frontline staff, it's about nurses, of our doctors, but I think really importantly what we've seen with something like this, it's taken the entire hospital. I think you see that the COVID pandemic has really tests your systems and your processes in place and there isn't a, a group of staff who haven't been affected, whether it's our HR staff last week just appointing an extra 25 nurses to come and work here or whether it's our workshop staff uh, who are just maintaining our our equipment and ensuring that the ventilators and the monitors are all working and installed and even the oxygen so by way of an example the hospital uses about 350 kilograms of oxygen a day normally and over the past month we've been using 1.6 tons and that just takes a tremendous amount of procurement supply chain getting the ppe in place for everybody our cleaning staff they're the ones who go in and have to decontaminate and yeah, an area sort of when yeah and do all the normal cleaning. So yeah, really I think to to every single group, whether it's finance, information, HR, our frontline nurses, we've seen the year of the nurse, nurses have really come to the forefront. Um, we even had two nurses from Tigerberg Hospital, um, dedicated ICU nurses who actually volunteered to come and support and work at George Hospital. So it's been an absolutely tremendous response. Um, frontline staff putting themselves on the line all of the time. We know that 79 of our staff have actually contracted COVID. Um, either, we don't necessarily know where they've contracted, but I think it's been a really difficult time for these staff. We've still got two, two of our nursing colleagues are in ICU and we're holding them in our thoughts all the time and praying for their for their recovery but out of those 79 there are only 13 who have got active active COVID at the moment and most of our staff are recovered and are back at work so so we're really grateful for that and yeah so I think that gives us a lot of hope and encouragement I think we know from our our patient perspective it's a really tough time sort of being in hospital you normally want visitors and family to come and see you and actually being isolated, I think that's probably been one of the hardest things to to be sick, to be in a ward, whether with COVID or even just a, another condition by where you've been admitted for and not being able to have your family with you. So our staff have turned out and been that family for our patients. They've gone the extra mile, um, really trying to trying to make them feel as comfortable as possible in a really difficult time. So yeah, from my side to all the George Hospital staff, thank you. Um, we know it's we know it's been tough at the same time you've had your own concerns your own anxieties your own worries trying to manage your children going to school partners who might have lost their jobs so it's been a tough period for the hospital staff so i just really want to say on behalf of everybody thank you um a really warm thank you to the minister for coming in joining the dancing today i think it really helped to lift up the spirits of everybody and i'm sure you're going to have a few words for the staff as well so on behalf of all of us you're very welcome and thanks for coming to talk uh, I think before I speak, uh, there are other people who want also to, um, to acknowledge and thank you. So with me, uh, I do have the Deputy Mayor of George, uh, Mamouk Clark. Uh, please thank the staff on behalf of the, uh, of the George Municipality and also for the You can come forward, we are behind you.
can take off your one of the sign language and the deep reading. But you must make sure we are further away. I always stay at the back. Um, good morning, I'm Charlotte Clark and as many of you know, I am the Deputy Mayor for George. And with us we have our councillor Lisa Stribble with us and councillor Stamella. I'm not sure whether there are any others. And on behalf of George Municipality, I would like to extend a warm thank you and a warm welcome to everybody present here, but especially the hospital staff. Without you, I don't know what would have happened. Your dedication means a lot. You are often taken for granted, the doctors, the nurses, the general workers in hospitals. Sometimes people really take you for granted. But from our side, we want to say that we appreciate what you do and that we are grateful and thankful. Thank <laughs> you.